the forum drew together lawmakers from the Council of States and Transitional National Legislative Assembly to listen to the experts and explore on vibrant topics on the Wild Nile Basin management and its governance. Professor Tachi al Kazim, an international expert on Nile water, underscored the importance of feasibility studies. al Kazim recommended the establishment of a commission to oversee water management in South Sudan. The feasibility study, the design, the construction, the usage, the lifetime have got to be decided uh, scientifically for Hafiz to survive. An expert, Dr. Silwag Jivril, recommended conducting public hearing and commissioning of scientific studies. Debate on all sides and took this historic unprecedented decision to call the nation for a public consultation and a forum to look into all aspects of the dredging and the issues of the water resources. An associate professor, John Leju, explain variability between dredging and river cleaning. Doesn't destroy, this doesn't affect the biota, doesn't affect the livelihood, doesn't affect the environment. Then that kind of dredging is sustainable and is acceptable. The Minister of Presidential Affairs, Dr. Barnaba Marial Benjamin, said the forum has offered a credible chance to the participants to explore possibilities. What we heard from our experts, a wonderful information, which a member of parliament really needs for you to sit in your chair and bang the table and say this is the right decision to take. Our government had yet not discussed anything to do with John Le Canal. The Assembly Pass Deputy Speaker, Nathaniel Oyet, says the parliament would not entertain any person who attempt to divert public concern into tribal verses. On her part, the deputy speaker of the Council of States, Mary Ayan Majok, congratulated the president for initiating such an interactive platform in which she said it would produce tangible results. I would like to underscore that and emphasize and underline after that we are seeds of this matter. We want to seek short-term and long-term solution to the flood disaster. I would like also to point out there is no need to politicize the matter of national disaster. So I understand a bit the importance of water. I understand how South Sudan is one of the blessed and gifted countries all over the world. The chair of the organizing committee, Akoja Kwe Manim, described Nile water as a lifeline for the people of South Sudan. And scoring that the white Nile, including the eight tributaries, is the lifeline of the people of South Sudan. The first day of the forum is expected to bring together the cabinet to explore important topics on suit wetlands and the white Nile water resources management. Daniel Marengwek, SSBC News, Juba.